Nice, not bad. I still have five food left. Oh, yes! That's amazing, bro. First kill of the day. I got my fifth crystal armor seed. Yes! That's awesome, bro. I, I am very happy with that. I just need one more seed. So there are a few rewards from the gauntlet that I would like to get and that you guys should definitely consider looking into because they have some pretty decent uses. The main one I'm trying to get right now is the crystal armor set. I only need one more seed to complete the set and it also drops the uh, blade of Salador. So according to the stats info gathered by Oblivion and Solitary Clan members, the rate of the crystal armor seed is only 1 in 50 from the corrupt gauntlet so that's about 300 corrupt gauntlet completions to get the whole thing and the blade of Salder is only about 1 in 250. so the drops from the gauntlet isn't too rare for most players doing corrupt it'll take you about 30 hours to get all the stuff and relative to other high level pvm grinds it's not too bad it's pretty tame so I just need to get that one last seed and I can start using the crystal armor. I have plans to use it. The main use for it would actually be at Hydra because I want the armor's prayer bonus, which is really nice for there. And some other good places to consider is at Zora and also at the respiratory system for Sire. There's some other places where I can definitely see the crystal bow and crystal armor combo definitely being pretty useful in lieu of like a blowpipe or something but i'll get more into detail once i start actually using the armor i don't have it right now so yeah we'll talk more about it once i actually have it oh shit nice i got a zug task man i haven't done zug in forever but you know i'll take it i guess i'll do that tomorrow let's just hope that uh i actually have everything so i don't randomly leave and waste this task here. Well, that kind of sucks, but at the very least, this is a pretty good spawn for me. Because now I can just kill this guy. So, screw you. Alright. We meet again, suck. But this time I got crazy gear again, so. Alright, this is uh, clear. Feels good, man. Oh, I tanked one hit, lol. Uh, Alright, so let's just go. Here we go. Oh, no Jow Nib wreck for me. So, I was testing out the Divine Super Combats at the Rune Dragons because, let's be honest, they do take a while to kill, even with the best gear. And, uh, let me tell you, I really like it at the Metal Dragons test. I would recommend using this at Mythro Dragons, Adrian's Rune Dragons, if you ever do those. Alright, Elite Clue from the Gauntlet. Oh, what is this? Wait, no, I've gotten it before. I'm pretty sure I've gotten it before. Oh, well, if I want to put another spectacle in my house, it's got to be the uh, party hat and specs. So I need to wait till they do a holiday event for that. One more, one more, one more. Let's go. Thank you. Incoming blade, Badoodle. 200 KC though. One more. Crystal armor seed. Just give it to me. Let's go. I need some motivation back in my life. Ooh, can I cut and... Oh, that's awesome. I can fish and cut the tree at the same time. Greater demons. Hell yeah. Okay. I got a Zami task. That's nice. Oh, what? I just got a Zami spear from the minion. Oh my god. Okay. I swear, this probably isn't the first time to happen. Oh. Okay, I think this might be my second time getting a sea spear from a minion on this account. Yo, that's so crazy because I'm behind on Zermakian spears actually, based on my kill count for the boss. But the minions are, you know, actually the opposite, so it's kind of getting balanced out right now. 2200 kill count at the Zami boss. Not bad. Not bad, I will take it. Yep, that's it. Task completed. And I still have more supplies than what I came in came in with, jeez. We've somewhat gone quite good at this method, or I would say food energy is also insane. Oh, Renar seeds. Mm, okay. That's probably one of the best loot so far from uh, Crystal Inn. Damn. Well, 
I'm not going to add it to the Moss Giant Tally. I'm just going to put that into the uh, Z fault so it doesn't get tarnished. Please get frozen. Yes, bitch. Get frozen, mate. We have to be fast, so this major, you know, did not go outside of the corner trap and cuck me with the melee, so. So, alright, that was a clean run. I didn't take any hits this time, so we're good. There we go. Nah, no pet for me. Alrighty. We got a while. We got a while. Time to endure the stress of the Infernal some more in the future. Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, apparently the Dark Beast in the new Slayer Cave is uh, better, just because the Crystal Shards, you know, are a bonus. So I guess I'll just do all my Dark Beast tasks from now on here. Oh, yeah! Greater Demons, hell yeah. I love that. Mm -mm. Oh, I just hit 2300 KC! Bet you didn't expect this clip for it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, alright. Almost done with this task. Hit the sky. Yep, that is task completed. Second one this week. Gained like 150 uh, boss cases. Not bad. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I need to make some more tabs. Mainly the house teleports. Because I use it for the armadillo task and the zami task. Fastest way to get to God Wars. And I'm running low. As you can see, that's all I got. So, this brings me to a good point. Because Jagex made a pretty cool update. But this isn't a decoration per se, this is a useful item. Shouldn't it be in the skill section? But whatever. Marble Lectern. So what it does is it combines the demon and the eagle lectern together. It costs uh, this much right here. The supplies, marble block, stone, gold leaf. I'm going to make it right now. As you can see in my house that is rather plain, I have two study rooms. One has the mahogany demon and one has the mahogany eagle. So that's kind of inconvenient, you know? Having to go to two different rooms to make two different types of tabs all the time. So instead, I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to build myself the really good one. The one that has everything together. It's kind of like a demon and a uh, eagle combined, as you can see. Yeah, man. I thought it looks like a, a mongoose or something. Anyways, it should show everything. Yeah, nice. Now, I can just come here for any tab I need to make. Awesome. Oh my god. I'm a freaking 200 IQ. I'm a genius. Okay, I mean, it only took me 40,000 kills to realize this, but... Anyways, so with the speed of which I'm killing the Moss Shines, I can basically stack up all these prayers and still have infinite because of the bone crusher necklace. I'm thinking, what if I just Derox these guys? Well, I'm if king, cause you know, I won't have to worry about my prayer draining and I can keep Derox at one HP relatively the whole time and not worry about dying. Holy crap, I just had to. I needed to see that 60, you know? Ha 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 ha. That's awesome, I can hit a 60 even though I'm not using stuff like piety. So I'm just using burst of strength because unfortunately anything higher will uh, gradually drain my prayer all the way to zero. I can actually hit more damage per hit. Maybe not per DPS, but there's a lot of times where I'm just not doing anything because they need to spawn, but I just hit another 6,000 lit. But yeah, it's really cool. Um, see a lot of problems, man. Oh my, no way, holy crap. Okay, I got another one, boys. We got another one, where is it? Champion scroll. Oh, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, again, what? Holy crap, deja vu. I swear we had this back-to-back shenanigans recently. I'm going crazy. All right, so. I wanted to find out how many dust I get from a task of about 74. I got 5,600. So, yeah, that's uh, that's great. That's uh, Every time I do a task, I get about 5k. So, that means I've gotten 10k so far from two grotesque guardian tasks. They're going to most likely uh, come in handy. 
for the moss giant stuff. Okay, elite clues roll from another gauntlet. Here we go. Wow, two fiftieth elite though. We got ourselves a guest here. I think I've seen him before. Yeah, Wizard Fire, dude. He's he's been here, bro. I've seen him for the past uh, week or so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've come to report with uh, unfortunate news that the Dara method isn't any better than what I've been doing. So between Darax and the Scythe and, you know, my uh, traditional rape here set up with full strength, I'm getting practically the same kills per hour. Yeah, looks like we're just back to the rape here bando setup. You know, that seems to be the, the best overall, you know. In terms of cost and whatever and overall afk i mean this is hella fun if i could like afk for 600 kills an hour i would totally use this but unfortunately it's just the same so all right took a day off from uh killing this boss 304kc right i have 25 keys so this is uh one of the biggest openings yet damn it okay all right then i even had two extra keys from the boss Open 27 keys today. Alright. Couldn't really do that. God Sword Shard from the boss? Yay. Wait, what? I just got a personal best doing tier 2. <laughs> uh, you know, when I'm bored of just consistent runs, I, I might just go for faster time. I mean, it's pretty easy to beat this. Today's gotta be the day. I just hit 250kc. When am I gonna get this last crystal armor shard, man? For real. 270 KC. God damn, brothers. Oh! Oh, man, the wrong crystal seed, boys. Would have been sick, dude. We got that armor seed, the last one right there. Dang it! Holy f. What am I. What are these hits? I'm just going f hard right now on this. Holy shit, what? I got a 230 with a staff. 237 with a staff. Wow, that was crazy. Uh, what a troll. Oh, nice. Personal best. <laughs> Not bad. Ah, oh, such a slow fight though. 320. One eternity later. Alright, 350. Last one for the night. Damn it! <laughs> Holy crap, I don't even remember the last time I got the crystal armor seed. Ah, oh, fucking hell, man. 380, holy shit. Officially four times dry, boys. Damn, I can't believe this shit. Are you kidding me? Truly four times dry, wow. God damn, 48. Shit. I think it could hit 50 to be honest, but that's the highest I've been uh, taking a hit of. What? Sit the fuck down. For those of you guys that are trying to learn how to Halley run to avoid the tornadoes while attacking the boss simultaneously with the Halley, here's a big tip if you're still struggling. So setting it up correctly is important. In order to do that, you want to make sure that you're always two steps or two squares away from the boss when you're howling and when the tornado is about to hit you let's say about two squares next to you that's when you go back to the third square once you go to the third square immediately attack the boss and then click the third square again and then repeat that motion of hitting the boss going back to the third square continuously and the tornado should pretty much never hit you maybe one stray ones if it's like a four tornado set up towards the end but yeah, for the most part, with enough practice, it will become uh, very helpful to you, for sure. Especially when you need to do fast or clutch kills. Please kill it. Jesus Christ. Uh, that was terrible, dude. Alright, this is it. 400 KC. Holy crap, boys. <sighs> Holy crap, we actually reached 400. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. 422. 
Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go! Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, dude. Yes! Holy fuck, man. Only took 242 corrupt gauntlets to get the final Christocracy. What in the hell? Alrighty. Time to make the body. Yo, you get some insane experience though. 15,000 for making this. Uh, I guess it's half smithing, half crafting. Oh, oh, oh man, so freaking good. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Crystal impling right in my face. I'm sorry. Ooh, you see. Anyways, let's go. I'm gonna put on the full crystal armor set. We'll do a little bit of analyzing. But um, it does give that boost with the crystal bow, which is what I plan on testing. I want to try out some bosses with the crystal armor by itself and also crystal armor with the crystal bow. Wait a minute. I have a 7 prayer bonus? Oh, wow. Okay, I thought it was plus 2 everything. No. Oh, nice. The body is plus 3. That's really good. That's 2 higher than a uh, god dehyde. And the legs are 1 higher than... The God E high version. Oof. Nice, man. I definitely have some uses for it, uh, especially for Hydra, dude. The prayer bonus is going to come in really handy. All right, guys. Let me show you my collection log. And here's my gauntlet one right here. 70 KC. That's just regular. It didn't keep track of the corrupt, so it's kind of scuffed. It should keep track of it here. But yes, we got six crystal armor seats, 10 weapon seats. So, and crystal weapon seats. I got trolled pretty hard by these for sure. Uh, no blade, but according to the data, is about 1 in 250. So I'm actually over the rate for that. But luckily, I don't have any immediate use for the blade. Just besides testing it. So I'm in no rush. You know, we're chilling. The armor seats were the big boy. No pet, of course. So I want to show you guys one more statistic. Just to give you guys an idea of how just frustrating this grind was, man. Honestly, I usually don't get too tilted, you know, doing long grinds. But man, this one definitely tested me a lot. And here's why. So this keeps track of how many times you've died. So I've died 88 times, all right? So I don't know about you, but dying this many times anywhere will definitely uh, make most players pretty angry. I would say about 70 of those deaths happen in the first uh, 100, 150. That's because I was still, you know, trying to get good at it, you know, trying to be consistent at it. Once I hit like 160, Things were starting to become really consistent for me, you know. I probably only died like 1 in 10 times after that. Honestly, the biggest thing I had issue with by far was just the fact that I almost went 5 times over the rate for a Crystal Armor Seed, dude. It's 1 in 50, guys, you know. It, it's just not something you would ever expect to go 5 times try on, dude. I ended up almost having to do 250 entire Corrupt Gamas. Just for one crystal armor seat. That's about 2,500 minutes. I don't, I don't even know how many hours that is, but you know, let's do the math real quick. Dude, it took 42 hours to get that last crystal armor seat, bro. Oh man, that was so frustrating, but I'm so happy to be done now. Yeah, man, just being 3x plus dry on two different grinds at the same time is terrible. Like the nature staff, you know, I've already come to terms with it, but yeah, man, I'm just glad to be done with this one though. So as for the gauntlet, I think I'm going to take it slow on the gauntlet. I'm going to start uh, moving on into some more Salcano because I do want to get at least one Crystal Tool Seed. So I think there'll be a, a good switch, you know, from uh, the stressful gauntlet and do something more relaxing and get some new items there. So the past two videos has taken about 9 to 10 days to fully make. Hopefully the next video will take less than a week. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you are new and you made it all the way to the end, that's insane, dude. Thank you so much for uh, going through this long ass video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, also consider subscribing if you haven't, bell if you haven't, because if you don't, you might miss on the next episode, which hopefully will contain some pretty uh, solid progress on the Elf City goals, the pet hunting goals, and of course the uh, nature staff. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, we're doing that right now still. I will catch you guys soon with another video, alright? Take care and bye-bye!